Hey guys, my name's Shinsei, aka ED Quick Jap, or EDQ Jap, and if you've heard of me then you probably know me from my spawn sniping series on Monofo 3, or some of my sniper montages which I've made. But I'm here today to bring you a breakdown video of the Black Ops 2 multiplayer reveal trailer which came out just yesterday on the 7th of August. And I've already seen one or two breakdown videos already, and there's a couple of things which I've seen that wasn't mentioned or mentioned incorrectly, so hopefully you pick up some new bits of information from my analysis video, and let's get started. So here we have the first official gameplay of the Black Ops 2 multiplayer, and there's a lot of information you can get from this screen. Here we see a select fire mode attachment for the gun, and this will allow you to select between burst fire, single fire, or possibly even fully automatic. You can also see that finally it's possible to have three attachments on your primary weapon at least. Uh, your secondary weapon can only have two attachments and you can see that he's got the tactical knife equipped to the pistol. He then goes on to throw a shock charge which I can only assume will affect kill streaks also. A bit like the flash grenade or stun grenade in the EMP combined. In this next game clip we see this guy's got some hefty scope attachment on his gun. And this scope gives you the ability to see through walls whilst you aim down sights. And it seems like a pretty cool attachment, but could leave you vulnerable to enemies that are around you whilst you're just walking, aiming down your sights. As you can see on the left of the screen, the lightning strike kill streak is definitely confirmed, and pretty sure it just brings down some electrical strike from the sky to kill a bunch of enemies. Here you can see that dolphin diving will make its return in the Black Ops multiplayer, and it's not bad because it was a pretty sweet addition, doesn't really affect the core game mechanics. And here you can see another confirmed gun for the multiplayer called the PDW57. And I'm pretty sure this is a submachine gun due to the run speed of the character. Moving on to the next game clip, we can see yet another custom loadout of the player's character. And also yet another confirmed gun for Black Ops 2 multiplayer called the LSAT and it's a light machine gun. Attached to it, it has a hybrid optic which looks a lot like the Mono for Free hammer scope that we've already seen which we don't really use but it just looks cool. He then brings out his Guardian kill streak, which he's just earned and it appears to be some sort of defensive turret which lets out a heat wave to stun enemies in a narrow angle of view. Here we have another custom loadout and a new confirmed gun from Warrior Player called the Bullpup Cheekum QCB. And I can only assume it's an assault rifle. It looks a lot like the TAR-21 or the Type 95 that we've seen in previous Call of Duties. We can see here now the famous Dragonfire Quadrosa Killstreak in action. And I don't know about you, but the various accolades awarded such as Bloodthirsty or Revenge that we've seen, they've got a slight Battlefield look to them. Like, maybe Black Ops 2 will have a Battlefield style reward system, who knows, but that'll be pretty interesting to see. This clip shows us the first rocket launcher called the FHJ-18 anti-aircraft, and the fat off screen aim display thing could suggest the ability to take down multiple kill streaks, but that does sound a bit overpowered to me. Here we can see a new assault rifle called the AN-94, similar to that of the AK-47, I'm assuming it's in a more advanced version. Under the custom loadouts, there's three white slots with various pictures of soldiers and items. This middle slot here looks like a belt with grenades attached. This could be a clue to solve the mystery about these three slots, but we'll see if there's any more clues later on in the video. Here you can see some complicated new scope attachment which impairs your vision, but your enemies are highlighted with a red box. And also the guys in front of us show us the ability to deploy your right shield and pop up and down shooting over them, sort of like a mobile head glitch device. We just saw there the AGR tank kill streak being brought in by an airdrop. Does this mean whoever gets to it first gets to use it? Maybe? And as the AGR goes ham on these guys you can actually see the little ballistic vest hit marker. Not too sure if it'll be a kill streak or a perk but I definitely hope it's not a perk. Again, there's a lot of information in this next section. This guy's mostly used me blade custom setup. Shows us you can have six perks as your base setup, which is drastic, guys. Although it looks like you can't have more than two of each blue, green, and yellow perk tier. Now, guys, notice how this guy runs out of ammo for his racing judge revolver. You can see that it switches straight to his combat knife. So I don't think the combat knife will be a weapon choice. I reckon it'll be more of a standard, unique weapon to use once you're out of ammo. Now, watch again closely. I cut out the cinematics of him running up the hill. You can actually see the kill streaks on the right change, and also the colour of the text in the kill feed. This might have something to do with the mystery slots in the custom classes, but not too sure. I think it's clearly emphasised here that Tomahawks are returning to Black Ops 2. And the next part is my favourite part of the trailer. We get to see the new sniper called the OSR-50, which appears to be a bolt action. You can also see a bullet trail from the kill, and this could possibly mean customisable ammo. That would be pretty cool. And as we look back here, we can see that there's no evil wiggle. 
which means quickscoping will definitely be back in Black Ops 2. And here we can see the Mr. Van der Hart himself from Treyarch hitting a triple with the new Ballistica Bolt Action Sniper without a scope. So it looks like you can actually snipe with the iron sights in multiplayer, which I think is freaking amazing. This next clip shows us a new non-lethal equipment. I'm not quite sure what it is, but this shotgun sight customer loadout shows us the new M1216 fully automatic shotgun with a laser sight attachment. And just as you saw, there's going to be what looks to be like C4, but might possibly leave a poison gas cloud that hurts the enemies. It seems to read, will release toxic gas in yellow on the bottom of the C4, so... Here it introduces some sort of new overpowered kill streak. Could be some sort of swarm of UAV drones that blow themselves up on people when they run out, but definitely not looking forward to this one. Final moments of this multi-team team death match. Great vertical so from this last part of the trailer, you can hear the MLG Pro Hastro commentating over a new multi-team team death match game type. And I think it's safe to assume that this new game type will probably allow teams of three or more to face off against each other. Also, we seem to be looking at some sort of smart spectator mode, and the fact that Hastro is commentating over it means that they're definitely taking the whole MLG competitive scene into consideration. Well, we're at the end of my trailer analysis. This is my first time actually doing this sort of thing. I've been up for hours trying to make my breakdown video stand out, so I hope you leave a quick like, and if you enjoyed this, then sub my channel, which is QuickJap, and follow my Twitter for updates, at ed underscore QuickJap. Peace.